Hello lovely people, we have another unboxing. Uh, this one is a single perfume and um, I know it's a Guerlain, Guerlain, but I can't remember which one it is. So, oops. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay. Oh, it's here. <gasps> Mongolin eau de toilette. <laughs> Let's open it up. we have another perfume today and this time it's a Mongolan the Eau de Toilette I have so much love for the Mongolan range I tried the Mongolan the original one um, during my first trip to a perfume shop and I loved it and my husband absolutely loved it so it was one of those things that I was like yeah I have to add to my perfume collection but then I found out that there was Mongolin Eau de Parfum Intense and I loved that one so I ended up buying the Intense first and it's been a regular on me I love it, it makes me feel special it makes me feel extra and I just I wear it a lot so I got to thinking that I want the rest of the range because that's just how much I've enjoyed the original one and the intense version. And so I decided to try the Eau de Toilette. And when I say try, I mean that I went to read the profile, the notes profile. And then I decided that I was just going to get it and add it to my collection. Okay, so what was it about the notes that attracted me? Well, uh, the top notes are Mandarin orange lavender of course because that's one of the unique things about the mongolan is that it actually uses the lavender as a top note but the lavender isn't overwhelming at all and it's got bergamot so it's got like this freshness to it as well the middle notes are jasmine sandberg orange blossom and ylang ylang i like orange blossom and i like ylang ylang the base notes are tahitian vanilla caramel love caramel Oris, uh, Violet, and Benzoin. So we're going, getting that warmth or that balsamiciness from the Benzoin. So it's going to be quite interesting to see um, what this smells like. So, because this is Mongolan, I'm going to be trying it on my head. Right. I, see, I love the bottle, by the way. I think that the bottle is such a beautiful design. And I've been looking at some of the new uh, releases from Guerlain. And they have an iris bouquet, and I am so, I am this close to buying it. I really, really want to get that. Okay, nothing off of the bottle, but here we go. Oh, this is a very beautiful atomizer. It just gives it like a nice puff of mist. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, it's like a really beautiful puff of mist, but very full on. I don't know if you can see there, but yeah, got a got a lot of it on. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. you can tell that it's got the same DNA as Mongolan, but it's it's like it's lifted. You know, if Mongolan was like the Earth's atmosphere and the intense is as you get closer to the core of the earth, this kind of feels like it's the stratosphere. It's just sort of like up there with all of the similar elements that you would have, but just much lighter. Oh, oh, it's lovely. But at the same time, I feel like it's different enough to the original one to warrant its own spot in my perfume wardrobe, if that makes sense. Mm. 
the lavender note is there, but just nice and light. The benzoin is definitely coming through. I definitely felt that warmth, that, you know, resinous feel. Oh, I love it. I can see myself wearing this in summer. I can see myself wearing this in summer. It feels very mature and elegant. Like, I would be wearing this with my nice black sleeveless statuesque wrap dress. Yeah, I feel like this is a very beautifully ladylike, but in, um, it's mature, it's very difficult, but I, I don't feel like I'd want to be walking around all girly, girly or whatever, but I would be very much like, look at me, I have arrived. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm so glad I've added this to my collection. Let me tell you. Oh. Because I love, I love the Guerlain fragrances and I'm probably going to be collecting a lot more of them going forward because I've been getting a lot of the samples. I can't stop sniffing my hand. Look, that's how good this stuff is. I can't stop sniffing my hand. It's been about 10, 15 minutes and the Ylang Ylang is beginning to pop through. So the, it opened up really bright and it's such a beautiful bright opening and now we're sort of like coming down towards that beautiful musk jasmine is very light here i have to say i'm not really picking up the jasmine as much but oh mm. galan oh my days that's not going to be good for my bank account because i can see myself getting more and more good lands because i honestly i'm just loving the stuff from there it's so beautiful and the packaging is so beautiful and the fragrances are just for me they are not linear every time i will sniff it something has changed and something else has happened i guess that's the difference between some of the cheaper celebrity scent type fragrances and the more um expensive heritage type ones i don't know but it's just amazing oh love it but yeah so this is a uh, mongolin eau de toilette definitely worthy addition i will report back in terms of longevity although of course it's an eau de toilette i don't expect it will last anywhere near as the mongolin or the mongolin uh, eau de parfum intense which that it has done 14 hours on me and it's still been there and on my clothes it's been there for several days but even if this is a slightly weaker performance the price it is a cheaper price point obviously than the other ones oh it's so beautiful it's it's like got a creaminess to it i love it i love it thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate that and if you enjoy talks about perfume and just you know basic perfume madness a lot of unboxings a lot of reviews a lot of perfume talk then please do hit that subscribe button like the video it really helps the channel and comment let me know what is your favorite galam perfume until i see you next time guys take care Bye. The very sophisticated and very classy scent, you know. It's so romantic. I feel like I'd have my hair lovely and tousled, you know, and just, ugh. Oh. Bring on spring, bring on summer. I want to put this on. I really want to put this on. I don't feel like it's something that I could wear right now in winter. I definitely, I'm just getting this excitement for spring and summer so that I can be wearing this.